Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a case study report. A, a case study was conducted under the supervision of Department of Animal Husbandry of East Java Province of Indonesia. It was to, to evaluate the efficacy of essential oil blend, natural guard and natural guard liquid against foot and mouth disease in cattle. This was the status of uh, Bojanagoro area during the trial time, uh, which was severely infected by uh, FMD, and there was no vaccination yet. So PTDR Natural Sciences was assigned by the governor of East Java work on the findings, finding a solution for FMD in, in cattle. Ibu India was the Kapala Dinas and Dr. Iswayudi were assigned by the governor to supervise the trial using products from PT RNS team for a field trial. Desa Jono Bojanogoro Regency was selected for the case study. PT RNS was asked to conduct a trial for six days and show the efficacy of the result. Prof. Ali Agus from UGM was involved as an advisor. Trial design. The trial was carried out in a village that was severely affected by FMD, Jono, Jono Village in Bojanogoro Regency. There were two kinds of cases that we had taken as the target, including cattle that are affected for longer time and under medication, 10 cattle called in recovery phase. Second case was cattle that were just infected or freshly infected by FMD and were showing severe symptoms. They were four in number. Control was used in cases of remaining cattle in the village and from the surrounding village. Treatment was carried out using natural guard and natural guard liquid products from on FMD infected cattle. Total 14 cattle were detected with FMD symptoms, four severely infected and 10 with mild and medium symptoms or in the recovery stage. The trials were conducted on all the 14 FMD infected cattle un under by the local authority. Three protocols were set up. Protocol one for severely infected cattle, protocol two for medium to light infected cattle and protocol three for the healthy cattle. So protocol number one for severely in clinical, with clinical signs, um, cattle. Natural guard liquid, uh, mode of application was direct mouth application, 30 ml of NG liquid daily, two times NG, mixed with feed, 50 uh, milligram, or if it is liquid, 50 ml, mixed in the feed, daily feed consumption. NGL mixed with the drinking water, 5 ml of NG liquid, mixed with 15 to 20 liter of drinking water, in the daily water consumption. NGL spray on the feed, 0.5 ml of NGL mixed with the clean water and sprayed on the feed that have lesions daily, two times morning and in the evening. The first protocol of PTRNS was agreed and approved by Bu India and Dr. Iswayudi and the local administration of Bojanokuro Agency. Protocol number two, which was for medium and light clinical sign cattle, natural guard mixing with the feed, 50 milligram of NG or 50 ml of NG liquid mixing feed for daily feed consumption. It was applied daily. NGL mixed with the drinking water, 5 ml of NG liquid mixed with 15 to 20 liter of drinking water and applied during uh, daily water consumption. And number third protocol, which was for the prevention, which was established later on. So NG mixed in the feed, two kg per ton on every third day and NGL 80 ppm every third day. Uh, case details, cattle with severe clinical signs. 
there were four cattle that were severely infected with FMD. The initial condition of the cattle were cattle number one. Cattle number one was an Ongol race cow. It was found that cow was infected by FMD at the end of May, shown by fever, lameness, less feet, and water intake, and hypersalivation. On May 30, the cow was delivering a baby, and after three days, the calf died due to lack of milk from the mother. Number two, cattle two was cow that was under pregnancy period. The FMD symptoms was observed in this cow since June 6, with increasing body temperature and the presence of sores on the cow's legs. Cattle number three, was a limousine breed bull starting to show symptoms of FMD on June 14, which were hypersalivation and accompanied by high fever. Cattle number four was a newly infected bull that had the symptoms, same symptoms as cattle number three. It was just starting to show symptoms of FMD with hypersalivation and high fever. Cattle with medium and light clinical signs. There were 10 with mild and medium symptoms. The initial condition of the cattle were they were infected with FMD with moderate clinical symptoms. The 10 cattle were still showing a mild to medium symptoms, including lameness, presence of lesion, and less feed and water intake. The cattle were treated under the guidance of Department of Veterinary, East Java, with several medications. First, ST, anti histamine, antipuretic, oxytetracycline, and antibiotics. So, field condition of FMD in Bozumbur. Uh, we did some scoring without treatment, with normal treatment, five and the number of days. The general symptoms of FMD is the incubation period is two to 14 days. The untreated cows can lead to animals death. It is generally low in adult animals, one to 5%, but higher in young calves, 20% or higher. It was found that there were mortality cases in Mojinogoro, 78 cattle by May 28. Initial PCR results on June 14th, samples for the PCR test were taken on the first day of observation with samples in the form of swabs from the oral cavity and cattle blood. Of the four samples taken, obtained 100% positive for FMD. We also observed the presence of severe FMD symptoms, lesions on the feet and mouth, hypersalivation, lameness, and less appetite on, in the cattle. These are the samples taken. You see the PCR CT value was 29, 37, 27, 24. Then this is the PCR result before treatment. This is on the second day where we already have 25% negative. And on day six, we had 50% negative by real time PCR. Before the start of the NGNGL treatment, all the samples were positive. After two days of treatment, positive rate reduced to 75% and we got 25% negative results. We continued the NGNGL application and on day six, there were 50% positive or 50% negative cases. This is a detailed study of the PCR tests and CT values. So samples were taken from two, from the swab and the blood plasma. And the initial condition of cattle, if you look at foot lesions and inflammation, then hypersalivation and mouth blisters, lameness and weight loss. Salivation, hypersalivation found in all the severely infected cattle Cattle were having difficulties in chewing and processing the hard food in the mouth. The infected cattle had less feed and water intake. 
if the disease if the disease were not cured it would lead to the marked weight loss and milk in health reduction you can see it was hypersalivation and presence of vesicles or blisters on the tongue Now here we did scoring for each parameter. Zero considered to be the normal, one less normal, two mild normal, then three moderate symptoms, four high, sim high symptoms, and five severe symptoms. And in terms of salivation, we can see cattle number one started showing good treatment, you know, improvement from day two, and it was already zero. The others were five, four, and it took seven days to recover. Whereas the cattle without treatment were recovered from day 13 to day 14. Cattle number one to number four were the most severely infected cattle. The hypersalivation was reduced after two days of intense application of NG and NGL compared to the control that takes two weeks to recover. Cattle number five to number 14 were the group of cattle that had been infected for more than one week and medium to light symptoms. The symptoms of hypersalivation were still there. The hypersalivation was reduced after three days of intense application of NG and NGL compared to the control that took more than two weeks to recover. Lameness was the second symptom which was studied. The second symptom that we could observe was the lameness of the cattle, which could be seen by the standing time of the cattle, which was less than five minutes. It was caused by the ruptured or injured nails and the feet that resulted in discomfort and pain. The lameness was reduced after two days of intense application of NG and NGL and completely recovered at day eight. Here we can see it could prolong the standing time from less than five minutes to normal, that was 20 minutes, compared to the control that took almost two weeks to recover. The lameness in the mild symptoms group were still observed after one week of infection. The standing time improved after day two, NG and NGL application. The control cattle took over two weeks to recover. Then the third was in lesions, the mouth. The most crucial symptoms of foot and mouth disease that we found in these cattle were the presence of sores such as blisters on the oral cavity, tongue, and lips. It prohibited them to eat and drink normally. The rate of lesion were reduced after three days of intense application of NG and NGL. The lesion in the mouth were started drying and then completely recovered by day seven. The control cattle took about two weeks to recover. The lesion in the mild symptoms group were at the medium to light stages. The wound started getting normal from day three of NG and NGL application. Legends in control cattle took almost two weeks to recover. Water intake. The rate of water intake was increased after three days of intense application of NG and NGL. The control cattle took two weeks to recover. The rate of water intake in the mild symptoms group showed improvement from day three of application of NG and NGL. The control took more than two weeks. Feed intake. The rate of let's see the rate of feed intake in severely infected cattle were increased after three days of intense application of NG and NGL. The control took over two weeks to recover. The rate of feed intake in the mild symptoms group were started improving from day three of NG and NGL application. The control took over two weeks to recover. So we concluded that we were able to 
you know, treat cattle in five to seven days of intensive application. We recommended farmer to continue applying NGL in the cattle, which were already recovered, and also to protect other cattle from the infection. We visited after a month, and then we took samples and also interviewed the farmers. What we found that all the cattle were negative by PCR and also a calf which was born from infected cattle was negative and healthy. Detailed conditions. So the cattle were fully recovered, marked by the absence of scars and lesions. The cattle was sold out at the normal rate. So we see all the cattle were fully recovered and were normal. In the light infectant group, all the animals from medium group were fully recovered. It is shown by the absence of physical symptoms of FMD. The body condition were also getting better, shown by the increasing body score and weight gain. Farmers had shared their testimonials and they were happy with the effect of products on their cattle. Physical symptoms monitoring after a month on treatment. Lemness in cattle not found. Cattle are able to stand and move in a normal way. No lesions and scars on the feet. Salivation was normal. <laughs> Kalau untuk berpisah lidahnya lebuh, kemudian kakinya ada sudah luka. Sampai yang jantan ini, kaki belakangnya pincang, nggak bisa jalan. Dan setelah ada pengobatan, sapinya kemudian saat ini sudah siap kembali, kita makan dengan baik, jalan juga sudah baik. Sudah uh, siap kembali. Masuk. Then in parallel, trials were also conducted in other areas like Blora. 245 cattle were selected in this study. The results showed that there were 154 heads or 62% of cattle infected with FMT recovered. 31% cows that had not recovered yet and 5% for slaughter and one cow died. On average, five to six days after treatment, the cattle showed an improvement in their appetite, longer standing ability, uh, blisters on the mouth and nails were recovered, and the clinical symptoms of FMT were no longer existing. Then third station was Slemon. The treatment was carried out for nine days, namely day zero on uh, June 27 and day nine on July 6th with 27 test animals. On the first day of treatment, cattle with severe conditions were able to stand up again, but their appetite was still not good. On the seventh day of treatment, cattle with severe conditions can be given mixed wet feed, and on the 10th day, they can eat mixed wet feed and fresh green feed. Recovery of lesions in cattle depends on the severity and conditions of the floor. The uh, blood parameters were also taken and it was found that they were under the normal range. So conclusion, based on the case studies and trials of natural guard and natural guard liquid products, we can conclude that the use of biosecurity protocol from the DINAS along with the protocol of PTRNS are effective against 
foot and mouth disease. Application of natural guard and natural guard liquid was able to significantly reduce the number and deactivated FMD virus within three to seven days. All cattle in the severe infection group for cattle and medium light infection group recovered in about eight days faster than the untreated cattle. So we gained eight days. All cattle in severe infection group, four cattle and medium light infection group, 10 cattle on day seven of NG and NGL application were free from FMD clinical sign and symptoms. The use of NG and NGL for one month is able to maintain the immunity and health of infected cattle and prevent the chances of disease transmission both horizontally and vertically. Intensive use of NG and NGL able to reduce the possibility of secondary infection. The same results were also obtained from trials conducted by University of Gajamada team in Plora and in Sleman, where the application of NG and NGL was able to accelerate the recovery of FMD infected cattle, as well as trials in Bali on cattle, pigs, and goat. And so far, there are no reports uh, on FMD positive. From the case study results above, it can be seen that NG and NGL have no negative effect on cattle and regular application of the product can increase productivity. Recommendation. Based on the trial results, we recommend the use of natural guard and natural guard liquid in FMD infected cattle. Based on the trial of NG and NGL application on several farms in Bali, we recommend the use of product on the other animals that are susceptible to FMD hoofed animals. NG and NGL at high doses can be used on infected animals, both under stress conditions and severely infected conditions with the application of a strict biosecurity standards. The early use of NG and NGL are increasingly increasing the possibility of less infection and optimize the productivity. Based on the characteristics of NG and NGL, which are natural and do not cause any uh, significant negative impact to the animals, the product can be used on vaccinated and unvaccinated animals and at all stages of cultivation. We also did the cost analysis and it shows that it is cheaper than the uh, used antibiotics. These are some glimpses of our presentation to the governor of East Java province. This is our socialization with the animal husbandry department and to the farmers uh, about the uses, benefits, and application method of natural guard and natural guard liquid. Would like to a special thanks to the governor, East Java province, and uh, Bu India, and Pa uh, Iswahudi to facilitate us and to uh, try our product and to CP Prima management and RIA management to give us chances for the trial.